Welcome to Oron Fish Market. If you want to know what goes on here and the cost of fish and crayfish, then keep watching. Welcome to one of the biggest, if not the biggest fish markets in Nigeria. I am thinking so because I see a lot of people come here to buy fish and crayfish in bags and in large quantities to take to other parts of the country. You can see a lot of these big vehicles, we call it back then, Ngongo. Yeah, so a lot of people come here to buy fish for sale in other parts of the country. Please come with me. Let us go and buy crayfish and fish. This market sells on Wednesdays and Sundays. Sundays are the big market days. Oh, good, uh, the big bag. These ones are not fine, no. Ma? Ma is not fine. I see how much? This one is fifty thousand. Ma? How much is that one? Fifty. This one is how much? This one is fifty thousand. Fifty. So guys, you have heard the prices, right? The cost of each of the bags depend on the size of the bag. Please take note, not all the sizes are the same and of course the costs are different. They went ahead to tear the bag and brought out a handful of the crayfish just to show me that the crayfish is very nice. And see, please, how, last how much? Last. So I was asking her for the very last price, and she said it's sixty thousand. And see, let me give you forty-five now. Yeah. Have you been thinking of a new line of business to go into or have you been having this crayfish or fish business in mind and you don't know how to go around it? See, this is a very good business. I can tell you for free. You can get in contact with me and I'll guide you on how to go about it. <laughs> Look at those women scrambling for crayfish. Those ones have been brought in by the fishermen themselves. Oh my god. They are trying to. <laughs> After buying the crayfish, I had to buy another bag, like you can see over there, in order to put it in and, of course, keep. A mark of identification so this evil woman got angry because the batch has been pricing I came and paid for it <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you didn't spell that white correctly. Eh? It's whitey. Good, 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 good. Stella White. I proceeded over to buy the dry prawns. Like you can see on the floor, some are bigger and some are smaller. Dry prawns. For us to... You can have much. How much? One portion. One, one portion. One thousand five hundred. This camera is not doing justice to the crayfish. 
because of the distance at which I was standing. I decided to buy in a custard which she eventually sold for me for 3,000 Naira. From there, we are heading to buy the dry fish. But first, let me stop at the seaside so you can see what goes on around there. Oh my god, look at that boy going there. They want to seize that phone from that guy. I said it. <laughs> what do you call this particular fish in your language? Do let me know in the comment section. <laughs> now this is the dry fish section. I told you this market is massive it is massive everything has its own section so let me go check what I can buy from this site let's see how it goes okay this is 450 for 10 pieces 450 naira Okay, select, uh, select. Guys, you see this particular fish? Eh? <laughs> I don't miss this fish. Like, I don't like it in my house. Hi. like i told you earlier this is another money making venture yes i can tell you again and again you can do this business and add to your steady means of income i can tell you for free it is rewarding so those are my fishes there that are being packed in the bag i bought this particular type i don't know what you call it let me know in the comment section we headed back and we are <laughs> actually exhausted so you can see a lot of vehicles all these big vehicles this is what they do and they take these fishes back to different parts of the country i encourage you if you're thinking of doing this business please go ahead and if you don't know how to go around it please inbox me i have my email in the description box do email me and i would be glad <laughs> seriously i will be glad to assist you in whatever way that i can you see that you see that you see that well there's there's nothing more i can say to convince you please get your hands on this it is another means of steady income sometimes what i do is that i share this bag into two and share with friends or sometimes into four but a lot of times i like buying it myself and this storing it to the I'm next time it will be cheaper one. okay so guys this is where they board to calabar yes if you hear people saying they are going from oron to calabar this is where they come to board boats yeah, this is where people board to Calabar. Mm. So these are the speed boats that goes to Calabar. So those are people going to Calabar. Yeah. So 
so they're trying to put on their they're all trying to put on their live vests I, I bet you not everybody here can swim in case of any eventuality i'm pretty sure that some cannot swim for their lives but we thank god for always granting johnny mercies to his own so which is your preferred means of transportation air water and land let me know in the comment section which is your preferred transport okay guys thank you for coming along with me on this trip to the river bank and fish market thank you so guys i am back home this is the bag of crayfish i bought it's actually not bad <laughs> the way i was looking at it in the market it was looking um like it's not clean but it is i'm happy about my buy look at that so and i have this fish here i asked you do let me know what do you call this in your language and this is the big crayfish dried one of course that i bought just imagine this oh my god i can't wait to <laughs> to devour all of this like use it to cook different meals look at that look at that <laughs> all right and i have the dry fish i didn't show you how when i bought this dry fish but i got this for i think ten thousand naira, and i got the other one for i think ten thousand naira as well um just around that yeah just around that so 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 ah just look at those fishes man so this is what i actually do i buy fish when it is in season and store them in the freezer this one you're seeing on the tray i was going to divide it into two for another person so these are the things i got these were the fishies and the crayfish i bought from oron fish market please if you see this as a business that you want to do like i said my email is in the description box down below this video kindly get my email and inbox me send me an email i will be there to respond to you if you watched this video to this point it means you enjoyed this video kindly give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see loads of such videos when next i post thank you so much for watching